Hello guys and welcome to the van tour. Behind me I have Volkswagen Crafter 2021. If you look from the side of it, so the total length of it is uh, roughly uh, 6 meters long and it's 2 meters 60 in height. Engine wise, uh, it's been superb so far. I've driven across Europe a couple of times, definitely has enough power on the highway, has enough power to go into any mountain, so I think it's kind of sufficient. However, if I would go for a slightly bigger van, I'll definitely go uh, with a stronger engine. And talking about that, this van, I have it temporarily. I have ordered a bigger crafter from a dealership in Lithuania. And thanks to Autoyota and Volkswagen Lithuania who let me use this van temporarily while, while I'm waiting for my personal van to be built. Without further ado, let's dive into the back of it. I haven't done anything at the front, so it's a pretty basic fan at the front. Nothing too exciting there. Let's go to the back and see how I transformed it. Keep in mind that I cannot change too much about this fan uh, due to the fact that in a few months I have to give it back in the same shape that I got it. So I tried to build everything here in a way that once I remove everything, I can give it back without anyone noticing that something has changed inside. So, you know, if you need to borrow a van from, the, from friends or you're getting it from parents to use it, but they don't want you drilling holes, cutting windows and stuff like that, maybe you can take some inspiration from this build. So yeah, come on inside and have a look what's happening here. So, here at the very front, I have uh, two foil bags. I have my fins and extension bag here. And then over here is one of the most important things, which is my toolbox, where I have all my tools, my screws, and also all the repair material um, that I'm using when I'm breaking something after I had to be catapult, which can be quite often. Obviously right here you see some wetsuits in the bags, then there are also wetsuits on pretty much every board, um, depending on the day, how warm it is, if I'm going surfing, winging, or windsurfing, I'll take a different wetsuit. And right here in the middle, I was lazy. I did some IQ and didn't want to disconnect all the foil. So I just put it all together like this in the van. So it's nice to have some space to do that. Then down here below, you can see the sails and moss coming out. Since I have quite a lot of stuff here at the front, um, the sails and moss, they're not sliding forward and they're staying quite securely. And now if you zoom to those screws on the other side, basically the van came with these uh, wooden panels on the side, connected to the walls by these self-screwing screws or self-securing screws uh, for metal. I'm not sure exactly how they're called in English. So this was kind of the cornerstone of my shelves build. And so basically I took one of those screws out and checked that it's going basically into sheet metal onto the stronger parts of the van. So if you come here inside and have a look here, you can see that some places there is sheet metal and then you have these stronger bars coming every now and then. And the same system is on the side of the van as well. So basically these guys who built uh, the side panels, they put those screws into the stronger part of the van. And I used the same holes to tighten my wooden bars um, onto the wall of the van without having to drill any new holes or destroy the van otherwise. So yeah, let's go to the back and check out the shelves in greater detail and see what equipment I have inside. So first of all, right here, easily accessible, I have my boss foil, uh, all connected. I've been foiling a lot recently, so I just want to keep it easily accessible and so that it's fast to rig. Then if we have a look on the bottom, this whole area up till this, uh, shelf is dedicated to sails and mast from biggest sails on the left which are the iq foil sails and 530 mast to the smallest ones here on the right so basically i always know which sail is where and if i need for a 430 mast i know 
that I need to look for it somewhere here. If I am going for 490, I'll know that it's somewhere here. So it's pretty easy to find stuff. Then going a little bit up, we have my fat and thick IQ board. And with the IQ boom on top, then I have this space for an extra board if I want and some booms uh, right here. And going up my slalom foil board. And then if I'm not using it, then I'm, I have it in the bag obviously. And then I can have boom on top. Then these vertical bars are connected to the horizontal bars with this 90 degree uh, metal angle. And then if we go to the top, we have another vertical bar which is connecting the upper horizontal bar with the lower so basically i'm trying to get as much weight transfer vertically through the vertical bars into the bottom of the van without stressing the side of the van so that the screws don't get pulled out from the side panels of the van for the shelves uh for this uh, shelf that's holding a bit more weight i'm using this I think it's a 4x4 bar, uh, just like these ones on the side and the vertical ones. For other shelves, I use just uh, wood boards, uh, wood floorboards, which are two centimeters thick and I think roughly 10 centimeters wide. These are holding the weight up pretty well. You'll also notice that I don't have any ropes here to hold the equipment down. Uh, this is due to the fact that I made the front shelves uh, of the rack uh, two to five centimeters higher than the back ones so in equipment even if you're breaking the equipment would have to slide upwards a little bit to fall off the shelf and i have not had this issue yet here for this bottom shelf i use the two centimeter thick uh, floorboard not the thick spreader bar but to give it extra stability i put in a central pillar right there just below the bottom bar uh, here at the back and at the front as well. As you probably know, in all vans, the sides are the less, least used part because of the wheel arches. Uh, so here on the left side, I have some extensions and I have uh, mass foots that I used often. And on the right side, I have my uh, wing pump and also I have uh, this water spray thingy to wash off my gear after a session this is especially useful to wash off foils uh yeah so basically it took me around two afternoons to build it the first afternoon i spent figuring out which holes i can use and then buying the materials and screwing the wooden pillars onto the side of the van uh, together with my dad and then it was getting colder than minus 10 outside in lithuania when i was building it so i cooled it off for the night and the next afternoon i finished together with my dad once again uh, building the shelves um, up. So yeah, just around two afternoons. Uh, yeah, so just uh, the materials, so basically the wood, the, the metal angles and the wooden screws all together cost roughly around 100 euros. Uh, well, I haven't used it for very long, just over a month, uh, but I think uh, here on the bottom I have enough space for two rows of sails plus some moss below and there's still some extra space on top, so I think that space is not necessary. If you put uh, more than two sails or like two rows of mast and two rows of sails then it gets difficult to take out the bottom mast there is a little bit too much pressure so I would just keep like yet yeah, one row of mast two rows of sails and then lower the lowest shelf to that and then also the second shelf it has quite a lot of space I would keep it in just enough for the IQ board and the boom on top and then once again I gain some extra space so I think with the space that I gained there I could put in a third shelf for a row of sails or moss and uh, so yeah a little bit extra space and going for the top I would just yeah make sure that each shelf is just enough space for the board and a boom on top of it I think that's the most efficient way and easy way when you're doing a simple build uh, because if you want to put the, all the booms somewhere separately it takes a lot of material and skill to build something where the booms are sitting securely and they're easy to take out so I think having each boom on top of each board is kind of the most efficient way when building a nice and easy build uh, for the van well I haven't tried the max but like I can count currently so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windsurf boards, two surfboards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine booms. Sails, I have uh, one, two, three. Approximately four, five, six, 10 seven, hours eight. later. Currently, I think I have 11 sails 
and then I definitely can, I don't know how many moss, uh, probably around 20. There can definitely fit more sails. Yeah, you can easily fit like two boards here, two boards there, another board on top of this. So there's plenty of extra space still. With this van specifically, no, because I only have it for a couple of months and up until I leave Tenerife. And in Tenerife, I don't travel around too much and I stay at my apartment. So I didn't need a bed for this build, but for my future build where I'm gonna travel around in Europe more. I would plan to have a bed on top, yeah.